Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we've got an unboxing. This is going to be a, hopefully a fun one. We're going to use our favorite knife, the Exceed Designs Tyrant V3. That's a mouthful. Why is it our favorite knife? Well, because it just simply works and the blade is uh, completely replaceable, right? So it's a great and fantastic thing when you don't have to worry about gumming up your, uh, your favorite knife and having to clean it, sharpen it, whatever. All right, so let's open this and see what we got here today. Yep, we got some uh, some paperwork here. Kniveshipfree.com, that's where these came from. And uh, they gave us this nice sticker here. Toss that off to the side. And what do we got? We got two, two Benchmades again. We've got an Armini Adamus and we have an Auto Immunity. And if you've paid attention to the channel here recently, uh, you will know, right, that we already have uh, featured the uh, both of these knives. Well, except this is just the, the full immunity, not the auto. So we have the full immunity. Now we have the auto immunity. And we already have a mini Adamus. So let's... Uh, we induced violent shaking. Not fun. Let's get these bad boys out and see what we got here. You know, set the box off to the side while we get started. Put that mini one over there. All right, so first one off the rip, and we've got an R sticker to cut. When you need a knife to open a knife, irony. And please remember, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing. All right, let's go ahead here with the uh, the mini Adamas. So the first thing before we open it, and let's see if we can get that to focus. All right, so this one, CPM Magna Cut Manual Open. And uh, what you'll notice about this one, as we induce more violent shaking, let's see if we can get that sucker to focus. Does not want to focus. There we go. CPM crew wear. So, what's the difference between Magna Cut and CPM crew wear? Well, one is a tool steel that is prone to corrosion and rusting. One is a brand new so-called super steel that has qualities that make it very desirable for knives. It is specifically designed for knives. The uh, Magna Cut steel is a premium it's a favorite. It's also made by CPM, right? CPM Magna Cut, which you'll notice right off the rip. Well, let's take a step back about the steel. Getting ahead of myself here. Uh, so the Magna Cut steel is um, supposed to have excellent edge retention, right? Uh, I do have a couple blades that are also Magna Cut, and some of them are pretty good. Some of them, the edge retention, not so great. I think that comes down to the, uh, the heat treatment and the brand, um, and possibly even the run. So the uh, CPM Magna Cut is supposed to have excellent strength, excellent toughness, as well as being corrosion resistant and having excellent edge retention. It's not the greatest in all four of those categories, um, but it is a well balance uh, between all four, making it a much more desirable steel, right, for knives, because uh, it kind of gives you the best of everything. So we'll go ahead here, right off the rip, nice smooth action opening. Big difference that you'll notice here between these two, right? Besides the steel blade. This one has G10 handles. This has a uh, carbon fiber shredded. And uh, sorry about the background noise, guys. That is uh, the overly loud furnace kicking on here. Hopefully it does not come through too blaring in this video. Blade looks nice and sharp. Um, do love the uh, flat earth or flat bronze accent. Can't believe, I can't remember what they called it. Ooh, that is, that is tight on the access lock there. Yep, that's going to take some breaking in. It will be uh, better. Um, definitely a noticeable difference in weight between the two. This one is just a tidbit lighter because of that carbon fiber, marbled carbon fiber. And uh, this one is a little bit heavier with the G10. There might be some weight differences too between the steels. Um, because this is crew wear and crew wear does, uh, does rust, it is prone to corrosion. It does have that Cerakote finish on it, which for the most part's held up pretty well. I did do some hard use with this blade over the summer. You can see there's a few markings there where it kind of wore down, but Cerakote's pretty stuff, or tough stuff. 
So let's set those off to the side here and let's get this auto immunity out. As the camera induces violent shaking. These boxes are always overly tight. And there she is. So uh, since we already got one in their like forest green color, opted to go with their flat earth. Um, the colors never come out looking the same uh, when they show them to you right on the website. I don't know if I like this that much. This looks more like a champagne color than it does a flat earth. Um, yeah. And not sure how snappy this sucker is going to be uh, when we go to deploy it here. Um, I'm a little nervous about that. This one is um, it's kind of hard to operate because of how small it is. And if you've got meaty fingers or medium-sized fingers or even large fingers, I would not recommend this knife. It's just too small. So, yeah. This one, we'll see how snappy it is. And it does look like it is locked. And there we go. That should unlock it. And let's see what she does. <laughs> Comes out with some velocity, I'll say that. This is my first uh, Benchmade Auto. Um, not a stranger to auto knives, as you know if you watch the channel. That sucker does come out snappy. Not too snappy. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of umph to it. Um, the lock on the back is a nice little touch. It's kind of discreet out of the way. Could see that potentially if you carry our stuff in your pocket getting hit. Compare that to uh, a blade like a uh, Protec here, for example. There's the lock. This one's also pretty snappy, but it's easier, right, to control and manipulate. It is a bigger knife. This one also happens to be in CPM Magna Cut. Still rocking the, uh, the factory edge on this one, and I have put this one for the ringer a couple times. Um, not, I shouldn't say the ringer, but we've definitely carried this one for a while. It's starting to show some signs of wear um, along its aluminum finish, but overall it's still a pretty good condition knife for the fact that it was carried for uh, about six months as a daily driver. Set that sucker off to the side, so play this again, and... Yeah, pretty snappy. Um, this can also equally, well, it's not going to be as snappy, right? So I don't know if it's worth the extra money to go for the auto or to stick with the manual. What uh, I can tell you, though, is be careful when you're picking these knives out. This flat earth is uh, more of a champagne color. Um, this OD green is more of a... Uh, slime green than it is a od green and i'm not sure what their blue color looks like i wish they would have came out with one of these and just a uh straight up black but i'm sure there's going to be a variety of um aftermarket scales and eventually carbon fiber version of this or a cheaper g10 version of this both of these are actually rocking the uh, m4 steel which is also made by cpm lots of cpm uh, steel out there right now Seems to be a favorite among knife collectors. Um, the M4 steel is actually like super tough, has great edge retention, uh, not as good as um, uh, some of the other steels out there, super premium steels. Uh, I believe it's Maximilt or Maximit. I think it's Maximilt. Um, supposed to have super, super long lasting edge retention. Um, this is a tool steel M4 is just like crew wear. So they did Sarah coat the blade, um, to try and inhibit some of that corrosion from taking place and, uh, ruining your blade. Um, but yeah, I'll be carrying this one as well and doing a full review. This one, not sure if I'm going to carry it or not. I do like the way it looks. Um, might be one for more of a dressing up going out. However, I am tempted to put both of these and pit them against each other and see which comes out uh, ahead, right? Which one wins, crew wear or Magna Cut? Um, yeah, I'll probably have to carry this one a little bit and uh, then reprofile both the edges to the exact same uh, degree. And then uh, we could do a test on them, see which one comes out ahead which one has the uh, better blade uh, edge retention. 
crew wear or CPM Magna Cut. So that's it, guys. Um, Till next time, have a nice day.